Hey guys, welcome to Star Wars on High. Thank you for stopping by. We are back to talk about episode four of The Bad Batch. I'm flying solo today. If you've seen my last couple episodes, I usually have my friend Galveston on here. And I've also made an appearance on um, kind of a, a live reaction with Star Wars Timeline, Star Wars Tonight, Star Wars Explored. Uh, you can check out their video. They had one today a little earlier. But I am here today to give you my thoughts. It was the shortest episode so far. It was called Cornered. And right off the top, I just have to say the visuals in the show continue to impress. So, so good. And I'm currently re-watching The Clone Wars. I'm on season four. And to see the gap, to see the progress we've made, it is just so, so awesome. Can't speak highly enough. And as we land on Pantora, I'm just kind of blown away as the ship lands in and you see the surroundings and the color palette. It is just so, so phenomenal. But, you know, this episode to me was really it actually took me back to the Clone Wars days a little bit, especially the earlier seasons where you'd have episodes that might be kind of short and succinct um, that really felt like a Saturday morning cartoon. It felt like something aimed um, not at, at kids per se, but at a younger audience in that kind of more um, nostalgic time, right? And this kind of fell right in line. Now, we did have some really cool reveals. So Fennec Shan has finally made her appearance after she was announced. I think some people or maybe, you know, not sure what way they'd bring her in. And I thought this felt very organic, the way they've brought her in. I love that they've kept the voice actress, so it has really kept that consistency, and it continues to expand the Star Wars universe that we know, which is always awesome. But the episode was really quick and fast and kind of kind of fun. It was, it was goofy at times, but charming. I want to say that. I thought it was really charming. So, like, I'll talk about Echo. You know, he's... he's First of all, I really liked his droid suit skin. I thought that was really cool, I will say right off the top. But, you know, him going undercover as a droid, and you have, like, the kind of goofy, you know, astromech droids. I love, I think his name was, like, Cake or something. Who, Whatever this droid's name is, he's the real MVP. I want to see him in future episodes. He's got these little stubby arms. He is awesome. But, you know, you have that little silliness where he's like, hey, you're not going to sell me for that much. That could eventually become maybe some deeper character development, right, with Echo, who is kind of, like, part droid and how he's coping with that. So I'm excited to see that. Um, and then you also had, you know, the Bad Batch kind of dealing with their first mission where, like, they're trying to, to bribe the guy and they don't even know how to really do it. And then they, you know, don't really pay him that much. And so he turns them in. So they're not really watching their backs. It's kind of the fish out of water scenario um, continued. And they're also seeing the Empire is, like, really taking hold and it's times are changing quick. And they're like, oh, geez, we have to adapt, you know, very fast. And, you know, it just continues to expand the time period and the world and connect us to other characters. So I actually really liked the episode, you know, with these 15, 16, 14 episode seasons, you know, you're going to have some episodes that just kind of take us a half step forward, right? And it's going to be in like 26 minutes, you know, and, and it's going to go quick. It's going to spread us out a little bit and continue to kind of push the narrative. And so there'll be some episodes that aren't quite as epic as like episode one per se, uh, or maybe have as many epic moments as we've seen so far, but continues to kind of help us get more entrenched in the world, the period and the characters. I think that's all I'm going to say at the moment. I think it was a pretty quick episode, nothing really too deep to dive into, but I want to hear what you guys think down below. Is the Bad Batch meeting your expectations? Are you excited to see what is next? I'll be very curious to hear your guys' thoughts. We'll be returning next week, maybe with Galveston back. Maybe I'll be back um, going with some other YouTubers. We shall see. I do love being able to bounce ideas off other folks. But until then, thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you guys have a great weekend. See you soon.